Hey guys, just um, going to bar right now. I pretty much woke up at like 7.30 and um, looked at what classes were available and I saw this class was available. So 8.30 class, I took it. It's bar at Barcode. If you guys have ever been to Barcode, it's the shit, honestly. So yeah, just on my way there now. Well, after this bar class, it's debatable what I'll do. Who knows? Who knows? I wish the mall was open this early. But anyways, yeah, that's gonna be my day and I'll take you guys along with me. Um, I'm still sick, so my voice sounds weird, that's why. I'm going to go into Whole Foods now and we're gonna shop for like any type of like winter skincare. Um, anything that looks like really hydrating or um, occlusive or like anything that could possibly be good for winter time, we are going to shop for that. And probably I'm going to get like a tea or something too while I'm here. I want to completely redo my filming room too. Like I, I'm having like a filming crisis. Like I just don't like my background. I want my background to be cute, you know? So let's look at the regenerating day cream. I know Dr. Hauschka uses quite a bit of like essential oils. Yeah, this is um, quite fragrant. If you see like limonene, citronelle, citronellolo, linalu, general, I don't know even know how to say all those, but those are all fragrances right in the center. In addition to actual fragrance perfume, you can see all the ones with the asterisks after it. But other than that, this formula looks really really nice. I love that it has avo avocado oil. It's a whole bus seed oil base pretty much with avocado oil. It does have alcohol right at the top, which is a little weird. Sweet almond oil, olive fruit oil. So lots of great emollient oils in here. Um, I don't see any humectants. There's a shea butter. Yeah, I don't see any humectants unless, oh, there's glycerin. Glycerin is after the oils. So, and then there's honey in here. I think this formula has like a lot of potential, but it could be irritating. Um, it's definitely emollient, but in the winter we want like a really heavy humectant based moisturizer in my opinion. Like this would potentially be good though if you use a hyaluronic acid first and then layer this on top. If you're not sensitive to all this fragrance, holy shit, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What in this formula is $84? That's pretty effing insane. I would say definitely skip that. Um, okay, let's see what else is here. Canna, um, cannabis um, skincare is really popular now, which I'm sure you guys know. Um, Let's see what this dreamy night cream would look like because cannabis can be really moisturizing and really good for the skin so this is an aloe base which is amazing really hydrating then it has water it has glycerin and so you've got the three components right at the top you've got emulsifying wax which is more of an occlusive glycerin which is um the humectant and then aloe um which is like super hydrating and then you've got Look a little bit further down, you see hemp seed, which is great. This actually looks really good. It has squalane, which is good. 
evening primrose, cocoa seed. It does have quite a few different fragrant oils and actual fragrances near the bottom. You see the last several ingredients, but if you're not sensitive to fragrance, this could be a really good cream for you. But um, let's see what it says. Hemp stem cells. So I don't know how much research there is behind stem cells in general, especially hemp stem cells, but it sounds like it could be a really good hydrating product. Let's see what else. I, I'm just like, I'm kind of turned off by Dr. Hauschka in general by like how loaded with fragrance that formula was and how most of his formulas are and um, how pricey that product was. I know these are typically around like 40 or something. Let's see, the, the rose cream is like his all-star product. $46 for one ounce. Um, you know, for like, for like prestige skincare, that's, I'm, I think that's even like a little high even for prestige skincare, honestly. Rosapine night cream. So I never heard of rosapine. It has goji and manuka honey. Manuka honey is super hydrating and antibacterial. So this is in a base of water with sweet almond oil, sterile alcohol. So it's got the um, it's got the sterile alcohol is an emollient and sweet almond oil. I'm sorry, sterile alcohol is an occlusive and um, sweet almond oil is an emollient. And then there's rose hip seed, which is emollient, goji berry, high in antioxidants, tomato, cranberry, acai, honey, about halfway down, aloe vera. This looks like a really nice formula. Um, of course, it does have fragrance down at the bottom because manufacturers feel the need to put fragrance in everything. But chamomile is really nice. Oh, it actually has, yeah, it has actual perfume too, if you look at the bottom. I mean, they're both pretty much just as bad as one another. Parfum and then actual like um, components of natural essential oils. You think you see that at the bottom, like manufacturers say that as if like that actually means anything when it really doesn't. These ingredients are just as harmful as um, or prone to irritate you as regular perfume. So that's just kind of deceiving. But this formula looks really nice in general. Cocoa seed butter, vitamin E, marula oat it could be very hydrating very good um, it has a nice blend of occlusive ingredients emollient ingredients um, i wish it did have some more humectants in it um, aloe is very hydrating but i don't believe it's a humectant um, but if you layer this under a, like a um, a hyaluronic acid this would be really really nice um, I, I would recommend this. Let's see the price. $50 for two ounces. I mean, we're at Whole Foods, so some of the stuff is going to be more expensive. Let's see. Yeah, this is even organic ingredients, so I don't know why this is $50. Like, I guess it's just the brand. Rosapine. Oh, that's their, that's their trademark, like, cocktail of ingredients. Combines rosehip oil with antioxidants. Okay, I got it. That's why I didn't know what rosapine is. So anyways, that could be a good option if you don't mind spending. Ultra hydrating face cream. This looks like something you would more, more so use during the day. Best for dry skin. So if it's best for dry skin, you would think it would have a lot of um, humectants in it. Let's see, this looks very similar to the formula we just looked at. I'm assuming, well, this, I'm, presumably this is a little bit more watery because when it's in a jar like this and it's a night cream, it's typically thicker versus this is supposed to be probably, it could be in a tube, but if it's in a pump, if it's for the day, it essentially is um, a, lot, a lot thinner formula. But this formula is really similar to this one, and it's $10 cheaper. 
but I mean, at the end of the day, li lacking humectants, in my opinion, I feel like you need to have glycerin near the top of your formula if you're gonna call yourself an ultra hydrating face cream. Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's look at these Andalou Naturals. Like a lot of people like this brand because they feel like, you know, it's all natural and it's reasonably priced out of like all the products here, right, right on, right at this Whole Foods anyways. This is probably one of the lesser expensive. Yeah, $25 for 1.7, $25 for 1.7 ounce. So this is for brightening. Let's look at more of like, if they have anything for hydrating. Oh, sensitive. I love sensitive skincare lines because they're most of the time non-fragrant, super hydrating, a thousand roses we don't need a thousand roses on our face like real real talk we don't need a thousand roses on our face so let's see yeah i mean i would i would say skip this it's really really fragrant i mean why would you make this for sensitive skin and make it put all that fragrance in there like just to show you guys like um the geranium, vanilla, rose damaskina, um, and then it has plant stem cells. That's kind of like lost on me. I just, I don't really care about stem cells, especially plant stem cells. Um, the, the concept that they would regenerate your own skin cells, I don't think that really actually would work. So anyways, I don't, I don't know. I don't like the fact that it says for sensitive skin, but it's like, it could definitely irritate you with Rose Damaskina halfway down on the inky. So, okay, let's see what else. Um, the purple line is age defying. So presumably this is more hydrating. Night repair cream. Okay, so this has Resorbitol and CoQ10. But really what you need for hydro or for anti-aging, those are great, but um, collagen, like CoQ10, that's definitely hydrating, but I don't think it's a humectant. Yeah, I, w I don't know. I would, I would skip it, to be honest, but oopsie. I'm looking for like a moderately priced like hydrating product. Dermot E might have one. Dermot E Hydrating Day Cream with hyaluronic acid and green tea. Yeah, this one looks good. I would say it does have fragrance in it, but like everything here does. So it has panthenol in it, it has glycerin right at the top. It has macadamia, um, sterile alcohol, settle alcohol. So it just, it has a lot of humectants in here and a lot of occlusive and that's what you want. It even has vitamin B5. Um, it uses, um, ethyl hexoglycerin and phenoxyethanol. Those are the two preservatives. It has silicone in it near the bottom. So it has retinol palmitate, vitamin A. I don't know how that functions in here to be honest. But anyways, this looks bomb. If you guys want like at Whole Foods, if you want like a hydrating, really good hydrating cream for the winter, like this would be a good option. This, let me look at this. This looks really good too. Advanced peptides and collagen moisturizers. So those are both very hydrating ingredients. Again, water and glycerin right at the top. Capric triglyceride, I think that is, that might be a humectant. Macadamia, I'm sorry, occlusive. And then macadamia is an emollient. Um, subtle alcohol, steric acid. Okay, this has matrixyl, um in it. Some peptides. This looks legit. How much is this? 35 so, you know, relatively speaking, where we are right now in a Whole Foods, like the price point is a little bit higher. So for $35 for two ounces, that is at the lower end at this Whole Foods at least. Um, so this is a really, really good option. This is gonna be probably more, um, oh, sorry. It's gonna be probably more um, hydrating than, it, it's it's up in the air. This, this cream is probably thicker. So it just kind of depends they're probably equivalent in like how they perform but this just might be a little bit more um it could be they could be hydrating in different ways and this could be a little bit thicker but i think these are both really good options anti-wrinkle renewal cream i i so far like this brand 
water, oil, syrup, glisten. Like this is a limited ingredient formula, which is nice compared to their other formulas. You see how there's way less ingredients. And it does have the occlusive, it does have the emollient, and it does have the um, humectant. So this is actually, a, it has panthenol in it too. So this is a really good option. What is this? How much is this? Where's the cost of this? Dude, $13, like this is legit. $13 for four ounces. This is supposed to be obviously like a more basic cream for them, but I kind of want to try it. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend this brand in general. It looks like a good brand. Um, this, this brand kind of like does the most, you know, like they have the packaging and the branding and like they're more so about the experience. And then they also use a lot of like herbs and, and um, uh, essential oils, I think in their products. Like, let's look at this, Blue Cactus Beauty Balm. So this is limited ingredients, shea butter base with cocoa butter, jojoba seed, prickly pear. Not a single humectant in here. Not a single humectant and it's $50. So this is pretty much straight up like an occlusive so you would have to use this over like um, a beta glucan or a hyaluronic acid you could layer this on as like a sleeping mask for example if you're not sensitive to any of these oils um, or fragrance so what you'd have to do is like you know how I feel about the Neutrogena Hydro Boost you could put this on first and then put the Hydro Boost on top or the other way around put the Hydro Boost on first and this on top because this has an occlusive in it it's a shea butter base so it could be really good, but you would just need an uh, a humectant to attract water to that product, to your skin. So what is that? It's a, this looks like a balm cleanser. It's just coconut oil, sweet orange oil, and vetiver. You're pretty much getting ripped off for $25 for two ounces, like two ounces, like no. You can get coconut oil at Trader Joe's for two dollars or for five dollars. Okay, so um, so shea butter, olive oil, jojoba, calendula, vanilla, shea butter, olive oil. Again, no humectants in here. It's all occlusive and emollient ingredients, so that's great, but it's just, like, this is really good, but don't be deceived. You need something to bring water to the skin. Like, putting all these, like, ingredients in here is really good. Some of them are healing, some of them are hydrating, some of them are emollient, um, but you definitely need something to attract water and put water back in the skin. Put water back in the skin because that's one of the biggest struggles that people have is like getting water in the skin. The body is mostly water. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Find you a product that can do both. Never heard of this brand. Why aren't you focusing? Never heard of this brand. Anti-dust, it's cute, okay. I'm not really attracted to any of these products for what we're looking for today, which is like super hydrating, like winter type products. Let's look, look at this waterfall cream. Third, oh, it's a Korean brand. Can this focus? It's a Korean brand. Shea butter, olive oil, sunflower seed oil, butylene glycol, glycerin. Beeswax. This is gonna be a really rich cream. It has rose damascina at the top or at the bottom, ruined it. But this is gonna be a really rich cream. Um, $30 for not even an ounce. Mm, it's not a waterfall of anything either. It's it's not a waterfall of anything really because this is first class Bulgarian rose. Like, that's a marketing scheme. I don't know what else to call it. It's a marketing scheme. First class Bulgarian rose, so, it just, so it's a perfume? It doesn't make sense, so yeah. Why, why petroleum is a great ingredient why, and silicone is a great ingredient. So is mineral oil, but I know those could be allerg could cause allergens, but um, I don't know why they're touting that they're free of those ingredients. Let's see what they do have in here. 
again, Bulgarian rose. They're calling it a waterfall. Okay, well, water and glycerin is in here, so that's like really good. Panthenol's right at the top. So those are all really good ingredients, but in general, I just, I'm not vibing. I'm not vibing with this brand right now. I don't know. Mad Hippie. See if Mad Hippie has any potential cleansing oil. This cleansing oil, you know, you definitely want a first cleanse, especially in the winter, it's important to use cleansing oil because it's really hydrating, but I don't know. I don't want to look at that right now. So none of these other products here are really screaming like winter to me. I love Coco Kind. I have a cleansing oil, but I don't see anything here that I would jump on to buy for like a winter type product. Now this is like a Cetaphil, obviously. Cetaphil knockoff probably, let's look. Yeah, I mean, it's really inexpensive for what you're getting. Um, I don't know, to be honest, I have no idea. It could be good. If you just want something really basic, it has fragrance in it, so I don't know why, why they would put fragrance in a really basic looking product like that. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it at this Whole Foods. Ooh, what's this? Hydrating sensation, hydration sensation gel cream. 24 hour continuous hydration. You definitely want that. This is a clear laundry list of ingredients. Let's look. Glycerin, water and glycerin right at the top. Here's another form of glycerin. A, co a copopolymer. It looks decent. I don't see anything right now. I mean, obviously it has fragrance in it, but I don't see anything right now that is standing out. There's lavender. If you're sensitive to fragrance, like, I don't know. This one has more fragrance in it than the others that I showed you by Derma E. Um, it's a little bit less expensive, but it does have quite a few different hydrators in here though it has beta glucan it has a couple forms of glycerin so this could be really hydrating alba we are going to the mall we are going to sephora I don't know what I even want at Sephora. I'm just like bored. Bored with my life. No, just kidding. Um, I just need to explore a little bit of Sephora's skincare options because, you know, I don't know why, because I want to. So Not just skincare, but makeup too, because it's my damn job, that's why. So, I'm so mad, I don't think I have my Vaseline with me. It's like first world problems, but I don't, I don't have my Vaseline with me. The mall just opened, so it shouldn't be too busy, which is great. Then everyone can stalk me while I talk to myself in a Sephora and film their beauty products. I'm going to leave my tea here because I do low-key want to bring it in, but you know how annoying that is when you have like a tea or something to hold and like you have no hands, like that's annoying. So against my better judgment, I would bring it in, but I'm leaving it, I'm leaving it. I don't usually like going out in public looking like a train wreck, but today, given the circumstances, I was over on this side of town being efficient. Maybe I'll just wear my sunglasses the whole time. Oh yes, thank you for that palm tree. Wait, is that a real palm tree? I never thought about it, but I think it's a real palm tree. Girl. 
Why did I never notice this and I've lived here my whole life? That's fucking dope. Watched a few of the Pat McGrath Lust Gloss, which I really want to buy one of her products, but like, I don't like gloss that's too opaque and too thick. It just, it's not flattering for me personally, but I like how sticky it looks, but I, wish, I just wish it was more opaque. Remember these roller glosses? Like, oh my god what a throwback i haven't seen these in forever i just remember like the ball getting like all like discolored from like other glosses i was wearing and it was like a really thin formula i want to say like it was like cherry or strawberry flavored is anyone with me on this like do you remember this like what is this what is this i can't even know what brand it is by roller baby this is a cute idea mercury retrograde palette Actually, these colors look pretty dope. I don't use these shimmers really for anything, but it's a nice idea. Here are some of the sets available right now. Laneige. I could totally get that, but I'm not a fan of pharmacy. Like nothing personal, but love that this is on a pump now. That's dope. I'm not attracted to this brand at all. I feel like it's a total, um, the ordinary, like, knockoff. This looks pretty fucking amazing. Like, you see that texture though? Like, it's so jelly. It's like jello. Um, I'm tempted to try this, but I kind of want to like go to the drugstore and see if I can find something travel size of this. Like, I prefer getting travel sizes of masks because, like, they go bad before I can even finish them. I put some on my hand. Obviously, the instant effect is pretty damn amazing. It like brightens. I'm waiting for it to dry to see if it leaves like a really occlusive layer. I really want to try it. Let's see if this is comparable. driving home from Sephora, going to get my life together, gonna like eat, shower, get ready for the day, even though it's 11 a.m. And then I'm gonna film and try to get a lot of work done today. Bought a few things at Sephora, I'll show you guys <laughs> in a little. And yeah. Okay guys, so I'm just going to eat my breakfast here. Let me show you. So this you. is like pretty much what I have for breakfast every morning. It's kind of like my version of an acai bowl. I blend in my Vitamix, a bunch of spinach with protein powder, ice, and water. And then I add a fiber cereal with um, blueberries and coconut chunks and then sometimes like cacao nibs, like whatever I have. And that's what I eat every morning. And now that it's cold out, Maybe I'll switch it eventually, but like right now I'm like totally loving it. And I'm just gonna um, eat this and <coughs> finish editing, editing this video, then I'm gonna hop in the shower and get ready. Hi guys, so I am leaving again. I got home, I showered, got ready and realized I had no baby powder and so I can't do my hair. So I'm gonna go back out by default. I'm gonna go back out and 
I wanted to go do like a drugstore haul anyways. So I'm gonna go to Ulta. Oh my God, there's a random dog in the middle of the street. What are you doing? What are you doing? Whose dog are you? So I am going to go to Ulta and there's a few million things I wanna buy. So I figured, why not? just left Alta a couple minutes ago got a few things there now I am getting to Walgreens this is actually my favorite Walgreens that I've ever been to um it is just huge they have such a huge beauty section and it's in such a cute area and I just stand for this Walgreens honestly it's kind of annoying how how obsessed I am with it so we're about to go in there and pick up some last few things and um this i tried the what is it i tried the ysl i hate these glasses because they leave such a bad mark so i tried the ysl tinted moisturizer it's the touche clot tinted moisturizer and i fucking hate it like hatred like, do you see how it's a different color than my neck? It's wearing horribly. Like, it's, like, aging my skin. Like, it's enhancing texture. It, like, is the wrong color. It's, like, orangey pink on my face. And it's just horrible. Like, I'm returning it. I just got it today, and I'm just re going to return it. Because, bleh. So, yeah. So I'm like starving because I've been running around all day. I haven't eaten. I got this stuff. It's called lamb green. I have no idea. Some Lebanese shit. It's fucking amazing. It's um, spiced with like curry almost. Curry spices. I can't put my finger on it. It's so good. So I'm just going to eat this. <laughs> and then I have to go buy puffy boots. And then I think that's my last errand. Then I'm going to go home do some more shit hi guys so i'm at home right now chilling with my child puffy and we're just filming i need a new background like i just moved here and like i fully intended on having like a cute background um and i don't have a cute background so i need to work on that i want to have that completed definitely before the end of the year I'll definitely stay in this room, but yeah, we're gonna change the background. My camera overheated, so I'm just chilling here.